What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I've got Miss Spidey in the back. I hope she moves to the front. Um, but welcome to Tarantula Tuesday. If you're new here, um, this is my G. Rosea, the star of the show. I also have an Arizona blonde baby, uh, a sling, who is not in this video because they have been underground for the last few weeks in hibernation because it is cold. Anyway, um, so yeah, on this channel we do educational videos, we do some fun, silly videos, observation about my own tarantulas, tarantula facts, and today we're going to talk about um, a topic that I think will actually be really useful for beginners, because a lot of times when we're thinking about tarantula care and we're trying to do all of our research, sometimes we overlook um, a lot of the tarantula anatomy stuff that's actually really important to know when you think about it, because you're going to have questions about it later. So today I wanted to answer a question, do tarantulas breathe through their butts? And actually talking about tarantula breathing and how it works. Because even tarantula owners who have been at it for a few weeks after getting their first tarantula will have questions whenever they see in a tarantula Facebook group, um, somebody worrying about their tarantula drowning or things like not knowing why it's bad to get the underside of a tarantula wet. So things like this become very important to know. So tarantulas and their bodies are a mystery. They continue to be a mystery as we continue to have limited research about them. But here's what we do know about tarantulas and how their bodies work. So tarantulas' bodies are very foreign to us and the way that they breathe as well as their respiratory system is also very foreign to us. When you first start looking at a tarantula, especially if you're a beginner, you may not even know where to start. You might not even know where to look, actually. Many people might guess that they have like a little secret nose around their mouth, or maybe they breathe through their mouth. Maybe even perhaps near their eyes, since like that's a very tiny cluster of just things. But no, not even close. They actually breathe from the opposite side of their body, but it is not through their butts. Sorry to disappoint you. No, they actually poop and pee from their butts like regular creatures. And uh, if you're interested in learning about how spiders poop and pee, please check out my other video, which is linked. But yes, that's besides the point. They actually breathe from their underside, which might look like their butt, which is why I think some beginners get confused. So the backside of a tarantula is not actually their butt. A lot of people, like even myself, casually will refer to this part of them as their butts. But if we're being technical, this is actually the tarantula's abdomen. So this big segment, which I wish Spidey was over here so that I could actually show you. But um, so this big final segment or third segment of the tarantula, which is sometimes the roundest part of them, especially if you have a female, this is gonna be called their abdomen. Their lungs are not inside their chests like ours. Their lungs are actually located on the bottom side of this abdomen. They're called book lungs. So now that you know that these book lungs are on the underside of their bodies pretty much, you might now understand why people get really worried about their tarantulas going in their water dishes or perhaps drowning or even getting any type of water on their underside because that could um, definitely interfere with a tarantula's ability to breathe if it was something pretty impactful. Drowning in tarantulas is actually unlikely to happen. I'm not going to say that it hasn't happened because sometimes if the water dish is too big or the water is too deep, um, sometimes it does happen, especially with the slings. But in most cases, if you've got a water dish that is the right size, your tarantula will not drown because one, they're their fur, I guess, kind of has this protective quality and being a little bit waterproof. So if you ever notice your tarantula drinking, you might notice that if they're sticking their legs in the water, the water actually kind of goes around their feet. It's not like their feet are actually in the water dish. So in some ways, tarantula's bodies do have a way to protect against this. But I'm not gonna say it can't happen because some people have said that their tarantulas actually did die in water. So yeah, we wanna be really careful, but also trust that as long as we're doing the right thing as far as tarantula care, tarantulas will probably be fine. It's very uncommon. So how do these book lungs work? The book lungs are called book lungs because they are kind of like thin stacked plates or membranes, and they actually look like closed pages of a book if you were to kind of visualize what this might look like. And then between the plates, there's airspace. This allows air to kind of flow through and circulate around the plates. And tarantulas actually have two pairs of book lungs, which is how it works. So 
Yeah, it's actually a very interesting system in that like, you know, my tarantula, for example, loves to just lay down flat on her underside. So it's really interesting to think about how tarantulas still, can still continue to breathe and receive airflow um, despite being on the ground. Um, so yeah, that is how tarantula lungs work. That is how book lungs work. And that is also why some people might think that tarantulas breathe through their butts or might be confused about how tarantulas breathe. It's very foreign to most creatures on this earth. So um, I hope that that kind of helped you learn something. It was very interesting for me when I learned about it. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye.